Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today I just want to talk about Avoid. Um, it's a very beautiful song. It has a very nice guitar melody um, by Ivy and a very nice bouncy trap drum beat by Smoke Sack. Um, there's so many important factors to this song, I don't even know where to begin. Um, let's start with number one, the most important. It's the last official release of Little Peep before he passed away untimely. So we, it's really important to note that the last project he actually officially put out himself involved um, all the GBC members and affiliates that he made the song with. So it's important to note, it puts a lot of rumors to sleep that he hated uh, GBC before he passed away. Um, that's a complete false rumor and accusation. Not only is uh, the last release he ever did a, a GBC song, but the last show he ever played, which was El Paso, he wore a GBC hat, so he pretty much erupted it until he died. So let's just stop that rumor from growing any more legs. I don't know why Fat Nick is hopping on IG every day saying that. It's just stupid. Um, so let's get into the song, because that's most important. Now, besides the trappy, um, bouncy drum beat and with a crystal clear just snare drum and nice percussion we have to talk about this sexy beautiful guitar because i think the guitar is actually one of the key elements i think this embodies peep style of fusing a very nice guitar sound with a bouncy percussion i think he was the best at this now everybody uses that sound but i think peep is the one who really got this guitar trap sound popping um, so i think we should pay homage to that it's pretty important because everyone has that sound now it's used so much, it's kind of hard to tell who are the imitators and who are the innovators. Obviously, Peep was an innovator. Um, surprisingly enough, Doves actually carries a majority of the song. I think he wrote an incredibly timeless piece, very sing-alongish, and his sections just hold a lot of merit. It seems like he crafted a perfect verse. It's like he knew he was doing a song with Peep <clears throat> that would, excuse me, that would probably get released on his channel. I think he really wanted to show up show out. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to have competition inside the recording studio. We have to get to Wicca Phase. I think it's important to discuss him because he's a very artsy kind of musician. You could either think he sounds like a dork or you can think he sounds like a creative genius. Um, I think he's completely original and I think being original in today's musical landscape holds a lot of merit and worth. So we have to honor that. I know people, a lot of people don't like the way he sounds but you have to respect someone who's completely original and just bring something different to the table. Um, and now Little Peep, his section is just so noteworthy because it's so short, but it, there's so many things to highlight. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I drove down the street just singing and screaming this chorus with Peep in my car. It's just a beautiful, catchy chorus, and I love it how he's looking for a girl, but he's troublesome. He knows that he's a goth boy that can't be avoided, and he's sharing what most people would be insecure about. He's embracing them, his problem with drugs, and his dependency on numbing the pain and not giving a fuck who knows about it. Um, he's in the club, he's doing his thing. He's looking for a bitch who really don't want nothing to do with him. Excuse my language, but I'm just kind of going with what I feel when I absorb this song. It's just very important. I think Smoke Sack did a great job with this beat, and I think it's very important because it was the last record he ever put out before he passed away. So it's just pretty important to distinguish what's real and what's not. We know that he was close to GBC before he passed away. Um, but overall, it's a very pretty timeless song that I think is very important. And I think a lot of fans should not be afraid to cherish. R.I.P. Peep. We all miss you, bro. Texting again, and now you're sending pictures.